In this video, I am going to show you two consecutive examples using positive clamper diode. But this time, I will add some biasing voltage in the basic positive clamper circuit. Truly speaking, this two circuit is really hard. So concentrate how I am calculating and what is the are the steps I am following. Let me read out the first question. Calculate charging and discharging time of this circuit and draw output voltage V0 for the following circuit and we have to consider the diode as ideal diode and when the diode is in forward bias it has a resistor of RF and here we will consider RF equal to 0 why do we need to calculate the charging and discharging time of the circuit the clamper circuit works on the basis of charging and discharging time of capacitor if the charging time of a capacitor is much much smaller than the discharging time and if the circuit consists of capacitor diode and resistor we may expect that that circuit will be act as a clamper circuit and see as the diode is in upward direction that means that this circuit will be a positive clamper another thing that, that we have to consider the diode is ideal diode that means when the diode is in forward bias I will replace that diode with short circuit when the diode is reverse bias I will replace that circuit with open circuit so this is our positive clamper circuit this circuit contains a capacitor 1 microfarad a diode and a load resistor of 10 kilo ohm and an additional bias voltage 5 volt and the 5 volt has positive terminal in upward direction and the negative terminal in downward direction and I am applying a square voltage here with positive peak plus 15 negative peak minus 15 and for this waveform I have to draw the output voltage so let me first calculate the charging and discharging time of this circuit a capacitor gets charged when the diode is in forward bias that means this circuit will be forward bias when this terminal will be positive and this terminal will be negative and our diode will our capacitor will charge through this way it, this terminal will be positive and this terminal will be negative that means I have to consider the forward resistance of this diode and the value of this capacitor to calculate our charging time constant charging time constant tau equal to forward resistance rf into c here the forward resistance of this diode is zero therefore our charging time constant will be zero and total charging time tau tau c will be equal to five times of this rfc will also be equal to zero that means this circuit now let me consider the discharging time constant a capacitor in this RC circuit will discharge when this diode is in reverse bias and this capacitor will discharge through this load resistor RL therefore its discharging time constant tau will be the load resistor into this capacitor multiplication RL into C 1 into 10 to the power minus C into 10 into 10 to the power 3 will be equal to 10 millisecond and total discharging times if five is five times of this discharging time constant tau d will be equal to 5 rlc equal to 50 millisecond now see the discharging time is 50 millisecond and the charging time is zero therefore the charging time of this circuit is much much smaller than the discharging time as the circuit contains capacitor diode and resistor so i can conclude this circuit will act as clamp circuit and also th as this diode is in upward direction that means this will be a positive clamper circuit now I will apply the five steps we I have shown you in my previous lecture at first we have to at first I have to start my analysis with that half cycle of the alternating voltage which will put the diode in forward bias here we have two half cycle positive and negative half cycle see when the input voltage is at negative half cycle this terminal will be positive and this terminal will be negative which will drive the diode in forward bias that means I will start my analysis with negative half cycle first so when the diode is in negative half cycle this terminal will be positive and this terminal will be negative and we will replace the diode with a 
short circuit we will replace the diode with a short circuit therefore i will calculate our output voltage across the load resistor r l see output is taken across the load resistor r l and you will see that a voltage of 5 volt it is connected in parallel with the load resistor r l so i can conclude that as long as the input voltage is in negative half cycle our output voltage will be equal to 5 volt after that i have to determine the capacitor voltage vc before doing that let me talk about how the capacitor gets charged see if this is our positive terminal and this is our negative terminal as th this diode is replaced by short circuit a charging current will flow th through this path as a result this capacitor will be charged at a voltage at level of vc as the current is entering from this direction this side of the capacitor will be positive and this side will be negative okay in order to determine our capacitor voltage vc i will apply kirchhoff's voltage law in the circuit inside this green shaded rectangular box and i will apply kirchhoff's voltage law in clockwise direction okay so at first i will encounter this input voltage whose vol value is 15 volt and its positive polarity therefore its voltage will be negative after that i will encounter this capacitor as current is entering from this direction this side will be positive and this side will be negative as i am encountering the negative polarity first therefore its voltage will be positive plus vc as i am after that i will encounter this 5 volt and its positive polarity so its voltage will be equal to zero so i can say that vc equal to 20 volt so when the diode is in negative half cycle our output voltage vo will be 5 volt and this negative half cycle will charge the capacitor or will store the a voltage of 20 volt in, in the capacitor now what will happen when the when the alternating signal is at positive half cycle see when the square wave is in positive half cycle this terminal will be positive and this terminal will be negative in that case our input voltage will be 15 volt and at that time our capacitor store a voltage of 20 volt across it and as the diode is reverse bias i will replace this di diode with an open circuit as the discharging time constant is much much higher than the charging time so i can ex expect further that the capacitor will hold the voltage level of 20 volt until there is a transition in the input voltage from positive to negative half cycle so in the positive half cycle our diode will be reverse bias so i have replaced this diode with an open circuit see i have removed the diode from the circuit as this branch gets opened therefore i can assume that this branch does not exist in our original circuit when the diode is in reverse bias as the diode gets opened i have removed that i have removed that branch where the diode was connected so our circuit will look like this i am taking the output across the load resistor r l in that time our capacitor stores a voltage vc equal to 20 volt with this polarity of negative in this side and positive at this side and this terminal is negative and this terminal is positive we are left with only one equation i have to apply kirchhoff's voltage law to determine the output voltage at in i will apply kirchhoff's voltage law in clockwise direction this voltage is to 15 volt and i will encounter its negative polarity so its voltage will be positive after that i will encounter this capacitor and its negative polarity therefore its voltage will be 20 volt after that i will encounter this vo and its positive polarity therefore its voltage will be negative which implies that our output voltage vo will be equal to 35 volt so now look at the range of our output voltage in the during the negative half cycle our output voltage was 5 volt and during the positive half cycle our output voltage is at 35 volt 
now let me draw the input and output voltage in the same axis so let's say this is our input voltage vi it has positive peak plus 15 negative peak minus 15 this is our time axis during the negative half cycle our output voltage is at a level of 5 during the positive half cycle our output voltage goes in 35 and I am showing the output voltage in this axis I am taking the time at this axis now see as the positive peak of this input is 15 volt away from the reference therefore our new DC level will be defined by this axis which will be 15 volt less than our positive peak and 15 volt greater than the negative peak previous negative peak and it will be at 20 volt see previously our DC level was at 0 volt if we don't introduce any bias voltage our reference voltage will be at our new DC level will be at plus 15 but I have further shifted this DC level by adding a by adding a bias voltage 5 volt therefore our new DC level will be at plus 20 volt as the input voltage is shifted in upward direction or, or the DC level is shifted in upward direction this is a positive clamper circuit